everyone. Welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. Hello. We're here to answer your questions. And we're super pumped. Did I say stupid? It kind of sounds like I stupid. I think I started to say stupid. Okay. We're super excited to do it. Indeed. We're so excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still eating candy from Halloween. Mm. I know that was a while back, but I still have candy and I'm still eating it. Myself as well. Do you know what is just around the river bend? What's that, Sarah? Thanksgiving. Yeah. I am super excited for that. Let's talk about that. Okay. Food? Yeah, or... obviously. Yeah, um, that's the only thing I care about. Uh, yeah, it's just an exciting time. And it's great because not only is the food awesome, but there's the Martinelli's. You start breaking out the Martinelli's, you know. Uh, what the f is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's a Martinelli. The apple cider, the carbonated apple cider, the special sparkling cider. Is that what that is? Yes. I bet. Don't you drink that at no. holiday time? No. Oh my lands. Jeffrey, do you drink Martinelli? See? Well, uh, if you like Martinelli's, please comment below and support me. I need support. I, I, I feel all alone on Martinelli's Island. My bad. Okay, we have a question from our friend, Thomas Coppersmith. I like that name. Man, everybody what a good, has- What a good name. What a best name. That's a fantastic name. I'm gonna ask my husband if we can change our last name to Coppersmith, because that's really cool. I agree. It's real cool. Okay, Thomas says, Clint, what are your thoughts on using a regular gas block on a rifle length barrel as opposed to a adjustable gas block if you aren't using a suppressor? Yeah, man, you're uh, you're touching my heart with that one because we like can a hallmark way. Yeah, like hallmark I mean that way? is the perfect question because the only time I feel the real need for a bleed off or adjustable gas block is when shooting suppressed. That is the 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 problem that is solved with this type of low profile gas block. So I'm fine with it. I think if you're not shooting suppressed ever, you know, you get a BA barrel with a perfectly gas ported port. You know, anything else you want to mitigate, you can do in your buffer system if it's hitting too hard or that rig's really slick and broke in and real nice, you know, buffer system if you want, throw a muzzle brake on there. Fixed low pro is a little bit better. You got a nice good seal. You don't have any other working parts. I feel fine about it. Ecstatic, really. I like it. I think there is a little bit overemphasis on dialing in your your rifle so much, and I have before being a barrel manufacturer because I can control the gas port size. If I'm doing a specific rig for someone for a specific ammo, you can do that. But you know, we make some for everybody. Throw all your parts together. You're not shooting suppressed. You don't really need it. That's it's totally up to you. Clint. Yeah. You ready for a second question? Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. We have a question from our friend Alex Irvin. Okay. Alex says, why do you prefer a bleed off versus a restrictive style adjustable gas block, i.e. superlative arms versus SLR? Hmm. Okay. I get it. Okay. Uh, my answer is kind of in your question. Restrictive, bleed off. A little backstory. Prior to doing any adjustables or bleed offs or working with any companies, I wasn't a big fan. Okay. If I had a custom rig that was going to be dedicated suppressed to build for someone or a specific ammo, I could do all that, you know, by controlling the gas port size when I build the rig for someone. But um, I had a really cool sniper friend of mine who said, well, Clint, you're building all these specific rigs for these guys. What if they get shot in the suppressor? It's a great question. So it opened up the idea to start using some adjustables. So it came across Tony Russo, but he got me with the word bleed off when he was explaining his idea. So. The reason that gets me is because the restrictive ones, you're just trying to close that hole within that low profile gas block, okay? A couple problems with that. Uh, erosion, there's a lot of pressure coming through that gas port, okay? A ton. So to control that, I think is a really, really tall task. Um, second part about that is you have nooks and crannies where all these, the detent, the spring, however you're gonna adjust it, <clears throat> is that. And you're gonna bleed through those once you've got your rig all dialed in. You're gonna to go to the range, you're gonna shoot it, you're gonna be very happy, it's gonna be balanced, you're gonna put that rig down, you're gonna go shoot it again. Well, all those nooks and crannies are now filled with carbon and have sealed that thing, so you're gonna to have to adjust it again. So it couldn't be, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be everybody's experience, I get that, but you have to understand how many rigs I've built for people 
That's all I did for years and years and years. So this was a common case for me, or, or all those parts would get seized up and you could fail to, you wouldn't be able to adjust it any longer. So, you know, it was kind of solving a problem briefly and then creating more for you. Um, again, I don't think that's everyone's experience, but it was a big red flag for me in terms of selecting which kind I was gonna use. So, superlative arms bleed off system, it bleeds off the energy you're not going to use. I really like that, okay? So, you're not, you know, he's, he's not trying to restrict that gas port, but he's diverting excess pressure elsewhere. So, that's why. I do like the front location too, in terms of how to adjust it. It's very simple. You get a nice adjustment with each, which, with each click. And I do believe this is specifically for suppressed shooting. So, if you're, if you're three clicks away from unsuppressed and then three clicks back to suppressed, it's easy to remember and practice. And through that functionality, you're gonna constantly keep that thing broken in and serving you well. So all of our demo rifles are outfitted with them. I haven't had any issues. I thoroughly believe in them. Not trying to knock anyone else. It's just what we prefer. Thanks so much, Clint Hansen. You're welcome. You did such a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much to our friends. You guys did a great job asking your questions. We hope our answers were helpful. I say our answers, but it's answers. It's ours. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Yeah. Guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon. Clint, can you make that noise? Yeah, that's it. Click that so that you get a notification every time we post new videos. We have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. What? Yeah, it's true. If you want to see Clint Hansen here answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you send us. Season two, episode 13. If you want to see Clint Hansen here answer one of your uh, questions, I was going to say comments, and then the videos popped in my head. And you know you what happened? I started thinking about Thanksgiving. Yeah, you pointed like at me like you were accusing me of something, too. No, I just got excited. Like that. I'm like, this mother You <laughs> hit me in the head. <laughs> you hit me in the head. And if you want to see Clint Hansen here answer one of your questions, or you want to talk about Thanksgiving, comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you send us. That's creepy.